police found this pony tied to a tree and then discovered why he wouldn't even look at them in September 2017 Spanish police from the municipality of El Moradi found a pony lashed to a tree in the town of El Gorfa in Alicante Spain the elderly animal was in pitiful pathetic state and had been abandoned in the searing heat of a Spanish summer the terrible treatment the poor creature had suffered was etched all over its emaciated body the animal was so downtrodden and defeated that he wouldn't even raise his head when the police officers approached the police who discovered the discarded pony called the easy horse care rescue center EHCRC in the nearby village of Rojoles for help workers at the center later described how the officers had found the animal in a Facebook post on the EHCRC page they wrote he was tied to a tree with no food or water with his head shoved in a bush to try to keep the flies out of his eyes the center took in the broken pony estimating him to be about 20 years old its Facebook entry continued we knew he had survived unthinkable events and would be one of our most difficult cases yet EHCRC is home to more than 100 horses ponies and donkeys hopefully the old pony could now feel at home having joined all of these equine pails finally he had the chance to experience some love and care the EHCRC was founded in 2008 after a horrific discovery was made by its co-founders British born Sue and Rod weeding they'd moved to Spain hoping to enjoy a relaxed and sunny retirement on the EHCRC website the weedings described how this all changed when they met a two-year-old stallion named Lucario the statement reads we found him locked in a filthy and dark stable his left eye badly injured and rotting hurling himself repeatedly against the bars of his stall as flies drove him crazy the weedings were shocked to discover the paucity of animal welfare refuges in their adopted country then the couple decided to do something about it and they banished all thoughts of retirement the weedings established EHCRC as a rescue and rehabilitation center for abused neglected and abandoned equines in Alicante it's the sole horse rescue center foundation to be officially registered in Spain the couple explain on the center's website that it's a no-kill foundation and that it aims to provide each rescued animal with a safe and loving sanctuary either here at our center or via rehoming for the rest of their lives the website also states we believe that when you love an animal you fight to save it they may be old crocs and broken down and disabled or whatever but for the abuse they've suffered and survived they deserve a second chance this is of course the reason why the local police thought of them when they found the aged pony in El Gorfa it's also why the weedings accepted the poorly pony with the aim of giving the abandoned animal a new and better life when the old guy first came to EHCRC they noted on Facebook that he was malnourished dehydrated and weak the pony also had one eye literally rotting in his head and walked with an extremely wobbly gait likely caused by a neurological disorder the weedings added his condition was absolutely heartbreaking to witness we see terrible cases like this regularly but it never gets any easier unfortunately the pony would need time to become more robust before his infected eye could be removed his other eye was also damaged because of this the weedings guessed that the animal had only about 60 percent sight in his so-called good eye however it wasn't the state of his eyes that caused the most concern when police first brought the unfortunate animal to the center the workers at EHCRC were more worried about the cruelty and neglect those eyes had witnessed the weedings were struck by the police officers story of how the pony wouldn't even raise his head to his rescuers they believe the reason for this can be explained by an injury the pony sustained dr. Dorothea Dudley von de Witz is the veterinarian for the EHCRC she performed x-rays on the rescue centers new arrival these clearly showed that the pony had suffered a severe blow which had resulted in the breaking of two of his vertebrae this was thought to be the cause of his neurological problems unsteady walk and the inability to lift his head it's possible this same injury was the one that had left a very visible scar on the pony's neck in addition the weedings think that this blow could have been linked to the animals damaged eye sadly they came to the conclusion that the poor creature had suffered this abuse at the hands of a previous owner who had assaulted the elderly pony deliberately thankfully the animal is now in safe hands and a far far better place physically and emotionally 
The EHCRC has dedicated a page to the pony on its website. His biography reads, He certainly survived a heck of a lot, yet he's a very sweet old pony and we absolutely love him to bits. The entry continues, He deserves everything in the world that we can give him and more. Because he suffered such awful and heartbreaking abuse, the fact is that the poor old pony will need extra care for what remains of his life. The EHCRC explains on its website, he's a special needs pony, but the good news is his condition shouldn't deteriorate any further now that he has proper care. It wasn't long before the damaged pony seemed to realize that he was loved at last. He was soon lifting his head to cuddle up to his saviors and was happy to receive some much needed affection. The animal also quickly found his feet in his new home. The EHCRC website says he's munching away happily in our stables, probably thinking he's gone to heaven. Now that the pony was receiving the care and love he required and deserved, he also needed a name. The Weedings turned to their Facebook followers for suggestions. Unsurprisingly, lots of animal lovers had been reading about the pony's harrowing story and his road to recovery and they were more than happy to chip in ideas. Many offered names that reflected his difficult past. One Facebook user wrote, How about calling him Trooper? Because that's exactly what he is. Another resident had a similar idea and said, With a story like this, he should be called Lucky or Chance. However, EHCRC had to point out that they already had a horse fortunate enough to be called Lucky. Other fans of the EHCRC Facebook page decided to propose names that reference the color of the pony's fur. One of these suggested caramel or cocoa. The winning moniker also followed this train of thought, and the previously unwanted, unnamed animal was claimed with a name of his own at last. The EHCRC informed all of its Facebook followers who had been part of the decision-making process in mid-October of 2017. The post read, We have a name. We've decided to call our newest rescue Fudge. Thank you so much to everyone for your gorgeous name suggestions. It was a tough choice, but we felt Fudge suited this little fellow perfectly. Sue Weeding spoke to Scribble about how Fudge's health has developed. She said, Fudge continues to do very, very well. He's gaining weight, he's certainly a lot stronger and much more lively. She added, he gets about much better now than he did. His movement is much more stable, but obviously he's a lot stronger now because he's got food and water. Sue continued, It's highly unlikely Fudge will ever leave the rescue center. This is why I have 108 horses, ponies, and donkeys. We take in the animals that no one else wants. I guess little Fudge will be with us for the rest of his life, which for us isn't a problem at all. She finished by telling Scribble, He's a lovely little guy. He loves cuddles, he's very friendly, and I think probably this is the best his life has ever been.